because we didn't really have anything going at that point. Like, you had your job, but I didn't have a job at the time. Because I had just quit my job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you just quit. Oh, you guys, I quit my... <laughs> and this is the worst part of it. I quit my job. <laughs> they threw this big party for me. No joke, because I was there for like two years. And then I came back to the same job. Three weeks later. <laughs> Three weeks later. <laughs> I could never do that today. I was like, you know, I was young and in my mind. I wasn't thinking. I would never go back to that. So they rehired you? They rehired That's me. That's really nice of them. That was extremely nice of them. Shout out to the K&J fam. And you're rocking with Kristen and Jamia. And we're back, you guys, for another mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang. I was way off. What? <laughs> you guys, today we are doing an amazing Indian food mukbang, you guys. We have Ooh. so much food in front of us. Uh, we ordered probably the whole menu. <laughs> we did get a lot. <laughs> and it looks so delicious. It does. It um, does. Let's get a thumbnail each, and then we will talk about what we got. Okay. And then we also have a topic today. Let's do that. How we almost did not get married. Yes. You saw it on the title. Yes, exactly. So, yes, a little bit of our story. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Um, I'm going to grab a samosa. Samosa? Okay. Samosa. Yes. And we'll do this right. Yeah. I don't know what I want to grab. I know, right? <laughs> There's a lot to grab. grab none. That sounds good. Okay, okay you ready? Uh -huh. All right, you guys. Go! Thanks for bearing with us all the time with that. And we're about to dig in. We're about to eat. Oh, should we talk about what we got really quick? As we eat. Okay. Go ahead. You start eating. Um, no. Rice. No, you're going to eat. Because I, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. A biryani. Ella. Okay, good I know job. It's biryani. Yes, we got chicken biryani. Chicken biryani. Good job, babe. Thank you. Chick I was the one I ordered it after. <laughs> we got chicken biryani, samosas on mm. the side. Uh, we have a lamb kebab here. Mm. So it has onions, lamb, broccoli, um, some other things. Bell peppers, I think. Mm -hmm. Bell peppers, onions. Mm -hmm. We have a chicken curry, mm. chicken tiki masala. Yes. And you guys, we have four different kinds of naan. We went all out. Mm -hmm. And we have um, basil and oil naan. Mm -hmm. We have like a potato oh, yeah. and pea naan. It's like naan stuffed with potatoes and peas and stuff on the inside. So and then we have a garlic naan and a butter naan over here. We went all out, guys. We did it. To, we did it right this time. We really did. This is like a four and a half star place. Oh, it is. And it's near us, and we've never had it before. And I just ate. That was incredible. I know. <laughs> I know. It was so good. You we guys, had some friends that referred this place to us, and and we last time we were like, ah, you know, we'll go somewhere first, and then we'll do this one later. Yeah. No. We should do this one first. Yeah. Because this is so good. I'm just gonna basically eat everything off of. Off a naan, of yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Wow, this is so good. Wow, this uh, curry is really good. This is the curry, right? Yeah, that's the curry. Wow. <laughs> the flavor. Yeah. Mm. You guys have never tried Indian food before? Try it when you can. Mm. Because wow. the flavors are incredible. Mm. I would say, I mean, I haven't done a lot of Indian food. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I've done... Yeah, I've done Mediterranean, a lot more Mediterranean than Indian. Mm -hmm. um, but either one, the flavors are just so good. They're mm -hmm. so good. They're just on a whole nother level. This has, place is, uh, uh, good. I was just going to say, it has a lot of spices. A lot of spices. But it's not necessarily spicy. You can get things that aren't spicy. Mm -hmm. But you can get things with spices. What'd you have? The tiki masala. Yeah. Can we switch these? I know. Are they delicious? <laughs> so good. Are they delicious? Ah. Yeah, this is so good. Did okay. you try it yet? Did yeah. you try it? Wow. Okay. Mm. Chicken tiki masala really is the best mm -hmm. thing ever. I mean, if you haven't gotten it, you have to get it. Yeah, it really is. So what are these? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's mm. like a yogurt sauce. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it probably goes with the lamb. Mm. Exactly. I bet you it does. I was wondering. I'm like, wow, what are we supposed to eat this with? Mm. So good. Mm. Wow. We came to eat too, you guys. Mm. You can be. Yeah, this restaurant is amazing, you guys. This is half of the naan too. Mm -hmm. I know. We had to cut it in half. Because <laughs> it was, it was, it was so, so big. Thick. And the last time I went and got naan, yep. they were hella small. I know, right? <laughs> hella small. Yeah. They were still really good. Everything was good, mm -hmm. but 
I think this place just is just a little bit a little bit better for sure. You guys. Let's say it's a little bit It's better. going down. <laughs> so you like it? Oh. It's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. It really is. Yeah. It really is. No, it's perfect. Mm. Um mm. Yeah, so you guys, what we've been doing lately, just a little bit, is we've actually been like during the day not eating carbs. <clears throat> mm. Mm. And Mainly fasting. So we'll do like a snack here or there. Mm -hmm. Which is nice because in that dinner time, mm. it's perfect. We have a good amount of food sometimes. And, you know, we're not going to be able to eat all of this. Um, no. We're actually going to save it probably for tomorrow. At least some of it. Because I'm going to go to town on a lot of stuff, just so you know. <laughs> mm. But. Yeah, but we haven't been eating mm -hmm. much during the day. Which is nice. It is. It makes me feel better. It does. You know. It really, really does. And you're not as tired. Yeah, I mean, eating a lot of something, obviously you want to stay away from most of the day, you know, just have snacks and stuff like that. But at night, but like, keep cutting out carbs for whatever reason, you just don't get like that tired, you know? Mm -hmm. Something about carbs make you tired, you know? Mm. Wow. It's that good, huh? I know. <laughs> that yogurt sauce is bomb. It is. Mm -hmm. mm. It's really good. Yeah. Okay. If you haven't had Indian food, mm -hmm. you gotta try it. Yeah. Uh, the chicken tikka masala is the way to go. You gotta do for that. For like a first timer. That's right. Well, and a billionth timer. Yeah, exactly. It's the best. But if you're gonna have it, you know, it's definitely the best. I think one of the best things on it. Absolutely. I agree with you. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Bless you. Ooh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now it's for eating that onion by itself. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And then samosas are also a good first timer situation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I agree with you on the chicken tiki masala because it's, I mean, I guess I've, I had had it before just from time to time. Like, I, I, I feel like it's the most, it's one of the more common Indian foods out there. Absolutely. You Very can get popular. it from, yeah. Anywhere. Anywhere. So for me, like, like you said, being a first timer, it's good because mm -hmm. you, you're familiar with the taste and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. you can kind of, you know, get into it a little bit. But from there, I mean, some of this other stuff, this curry is so good. Mmm. Mmm. And the samosa. Mm hmm It can be stuffed with, like, vegetables and spices or, like, a meat and beef and spices. And to be honest, I don't mm -hmm. know. I see, I think I see, I have no idea what I see. But it's super good. Mm -hmm. Definitely rice, a little rice in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe some curry of some kind. Oh, it's delicious. You gotta try this samosa, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get to that in just a second. Mm. Mm. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. I think the thing with the samosas. Mm -hmm. I I guess. Oh, here. If you now want to I think about this. it. Oh, yeah, and same here. Okay. You need to try this Actually. one. This one is. Is good. it? Yeah. Did you try the um, potato one? No, not yet. Okay, let me break your piece How's off. How's that one? Really good. Mm. Really, really good. Thank you, man. There you go. Yeah, no mm. problem. Um, yeah. Oh, the, the whole thing? Just try it. Yeah, because I'm... But I thought you gave that. Let, I listen. I'll have okay. a little bite, but right. I'm already nonned out. I'm going <laughs> to be full soon. You're nonned out already? Uh, well, not yet, but I'm going to be. Oh, got it. Okay. I'm going to be. Well, I got you... If you get nonned out, <laughs> I'll finish everything up. Oh, God. Here's what I was going to say. That's how you eat it, guys. Mm -hmm. mm. When I first started eating samosas, I mean, I got a, I, the first time I ever had it, I was like maybe 13, 14 or something. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember eating it thinking that it was going to be more of like a empanada type of taste. But it's not. It's not. It's, it's still, it's, you know, it has spices in there and stuff like that. So it's a different flavor. Um, so I was pretty much my point is, I love them, but I, I could see how some people might not mm. like them right off the bat. You know, you might need to try it a couple times before you really enjoy it or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you might love it right away. I don't know. Yeah, I would say with all Indian food because it's there's different spices that you just don't use here. That's true in in, in the U.S. That's uh -huh. true. Well, that's incredible. Mm. Mm. Drinking water. Oh. Absolutely. Okay, now that I'm not hangry, 
We can talk soon. <laughs> we can talk soon. <laughs> yeah. Soon. I have to get maybe a few more bites oh in. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Now we have other sauces too. We have this, the mint sauce and the one underneath it, which I don't know the name of this. Let's smell it. Let's see. I don't know what this is. I don't know. It's it doesn't really have a smell to it. Okay. It has some sort of smell. Let's dip it in here and try it. Oh, okay. Hmm. I know I've tasted it before. It's good. It's hard to just know what it is. Mm. Yeah, I have Ooh. no idea. Hot though. Is it? Mm. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> What a feast. It's so good. Yeah. I'm very happy. So, really quick before we tell our story. Mm-hmm. I got to tell the fam how when we were ordering this, mm-hmm. Chris was like, get it off. Let's get it. Let's do it. I was like, I don't know. It's kind of a lot. And she was like, we'll save it for later. You know, we won't eat everything. We'll eat it later, which is true. But I thought it was funny because... uh I was willing to get the whole menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which I don't blame you. I was hungry enough to be like, all right, let's do it. Oh, you know? And now I'm full. I know. It's the naan. <laughs> but you can't not eat it without naan. It's I'm true. You, right? It's true, yeah. Ugh. No, it's very true. Mm. So. Okay. So, you guys, we want to tell you a little bit about, mm-hmm. a little more about our story. You know, we have a lot of new uh, supporters, mm-hmm. but we have a lot of OGs as well, so... Uh, we've, you know, mentioned things here and there about our story and where we mm-hmm. met and um, yeah, how I fell in love with your singing. Right on. <laughs> it was only the singing. <laughs> Other than that, you hated me. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, we are high school sweethearts. Mm-hmm. Been together since high school. Mm-hmm. Now we're, um, been together 18 plus years. 18 and a half. Crazy. It was really crazy. But, um... Wow, right? Yeah. Yeah. I I know, I forget about how long that is sometimes. (laughs) Yeah, totally. So, um... More than half of our life. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And we didn't get married until less than three years ago. Mm -hmm. And so we want to tell you that we actually almost never got married, actually. Mm -hmm. To be honest, when I talk about being married now, like, it's cool. Mm Mm-hmm. But it also is still like, oh, yeah, like we're married, mm-hmm. right? It does kind of feel like that. No, it does kind of feel like that because, well, mainly because one of the things was for so many years, mm-hmm. we talked about how we weren't going to get married mm-hmm. and how we didn't want to get married for reasons, you know, but um, we want to talk a little bit about that, like what kind of made us switch it and, it, you know, made us decide to do it. And also for any couples out there that are kind of, on the fence like us, mm-hmm. at least under hearing our story, maybe it'll help you to decide whether you want to do it or not. Yeah. Um, mm. Do you want? Do you want me to start? I do want. So we had quite a few different reasons. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna? Because I think. Okay. One of the. I have reasons. no idea where to start. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. So that's how I feel. Mm-hmm. We were together since we were 17. 16, almost turning 17. Right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, you know, we started out very, very young. Mm-hmm. Very, very young. I mean, like, yeah, I, just... I guess some people get married young, so I don't want to say, like, mm-hmm. nobody can't get married young. But I yeah. do want to say, I think for, like, my goals and his, yeah, you know, we wanted to, I think we were on the same page, which was good. About wanting to establish some things first before we got married. Also, yeah. we never even talked about marriage. Yeah. Until our early 20s, maybe? Mid-20s? Probably. But, because... Yeah. yeah. Oh, go ahead. But I think we'll... a big reason why we didn't talk about marriage, at least for me, mm-hmm. was I felt like we were still young. I don't know. We were, I, we were in col- I was in college, you know? like Same. I'm, some people get married in college. I get it. You know, but I just... Mm-hmm. It, it didn't feel... I didn't feel like an adult, I guess. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Mm-hmm. I didn't feel like an adult. And I really... Same here. Same yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I really wanted to focus on, you know, going through school and finishing and getting a career. You yeah. know. 
Um, not, and again, not saying you can't get married when you don't have the career set or mm-hmm. you're not done with school, but when you start... But for us, we weren't thinking about it. Yeah. No, you know, I think we're just like really enjoying being boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And I actually really, I remember our, th- our three-year anniversary. I uh-huh. love the fact that we were together for three years mm-hmm. as boyfriend and girlfriend. I was like, yeah, then you have three years. People were like, oh my gosh, that's a long time. Yeah. And it felt like <laughs> so long, you know? And it was. There was a, yeah. Three years is a long time. It is. It is long, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there was a pride, I felt, with just having this amazing, healthy, uh, exciting, you know, sexy relationship. I thought it was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was just fun. And so mm-hmm. I think we're really enjoying life, you know? Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah. Do you have a... No, there's more, but I want to let you... No, I'm more. For me, I was looking for a way out. (laughs) I was like, how can I get out of this? It took me three years. I was like, I can't figure it out. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to just leave, (laughs) but no. I also have another thing. No, I'm joking. Okay, go ahead. We also... We were living with our parents until... That's true. Okay, well... I I mean, off and on for years. Off and on for years. So, yeah, I got... So, I first moved out of my parents when I was 20. So, Mm -hmm. I was pretty... You know, I wasn't 18. I was 20. Because I didn't go away to school. I went locally. Mm -hmm. Went to a junior college. So, you know, they don't have dorms there. I didn't need dorms, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I went to a a four-year college close by. Um, So, anyways, I didn't... I never moved out of my parents' house until 20. And then had a roommate in college um, running this house, you know? And... I didn't even think about really. Yeah, that. we weren't thinking about that Mm-mm. because I think to sum it up, what you're kind of saying is, our, our although we were together, mm-hmm. our our vision of marriage is like after college, after being established, mm-hmm. after having something going, uh, essentially financially and things like that, mm-hmm. then maybe get married, right? Mm-hmm. I think that was kind of our perception of it, mm-hmm. you know. And it wasn't like we had to be like rich or anything like that, but we were just thinking we're young. Let's, even though we knew we wanted to be together, we were just like, let's just give it time, you know? Mm-hmm. So. There was no rush. Exactly. So there was no rush with it for, for years. Uh, do you want to keep going? Mm-hmm. Can I go? Oh, okay. Well, I just want to say super quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you can go. Mm-hmm. Also, you have to also understand we didn't officially move in and get a joint lease mm-hmm. together until we were 25. That's true. Was that facts? Yeah. We were no. Was it? Mm-hmm. Maybe 24. You're right. 25. Okay. So, and we, again, we, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wait. No. Was that right? Well, my, I might have been 23. I was 23. You were 23? Yeah, I'm not that much older. I'm seven months older than you. No, I know. I'm saying I might have been 23. You just said 25, and then I said wait, I might have been 23. You're like, I was 23. I think I was 23. How am, how am I going to be 25 if you're 23? No. And I'm only seven months older than you. No, I know. I'm, oh, you're, I'm thinking you're back. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it was 2008 in May. <laughs> Whenever that How was. How old are we? I was 21, 22. Yeah, 22. I was 24. We were 24. Oh, we were 24. That's About right. Tr- yeah. I, that's, that's what it was. That's exactly what it that's was. That's crazy. That so is anyways, crazy. I lived with a roommate for like mm-hmm. a year or two. And then yeah. I think I had to go back home to my parents. Mm-hmm. I lived back home with my parents for two years before we moved into each other. Moved, moved in with each Can other. I say, do you mind if I say what happened? Yeah. Sure. Um, I told you, get out, get out of the house. You leave, you no, go you back didn't. with your parents. No, <laughs> so the, the place, because you, you probably don't remember, mm-hmm. the house you were staying at, Yeah. they were going to try to sell the property. Yeah. And because of that, I think at that exact time, I was like, I want to move to L.A., Mm-hmm. I have some friends out there. I wanted to go try to establish myself out there a little bit, make some connections. So my plan was to go move to LA just for a month. And I was what twenty one or twenty two. And that was I was twenty one or twenty two, mm-hmm. one of the two. Mm-hmm. And then from there, Kristen went home, mm-hmm. and I went to move out with some friends to LA. To LA, mm-hmm. and just for like you know, literally for a month. Was and we the were plan. still together. We were still together. Yeah, I think we exactly. were gonna go for like three. Maybe three months was it? Okay. Oh, maybe it was because I know I was looking for a job, so yeah. it must have been like three months. Uh-huh. Anyways, um, and then you know, because the goal was, you know, what I was hoping was eventually Kristen would come out there. We would move to LA at some point, maybe mm-hmm. whether it was then or later or something. So, anyways, so we, uh, so when you did that, you moved back with your parents. But then what happened with me was like three weeks in, 
I was like, I can't live here <laughs> right now. I was like, um, I was stay- sleeping on someone's couch and I was working at like this grocery store that was like a, it was a liquor store and they delivered like, they delivered food or liquor, you know, not liquor, well, yeah, alcohol too and stuff in there, sandwiches and things like that to people's houses. For those of you that live in LA, yeah, you know the name of it. You know the name of it. It's called Pink Dot, and it's right on Sunset. Mm-hmm. It's a polka dot store. You've seen it if you live in LA. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's pretty popular. Yeah. Anyways, I couldn't do it. I remember coming back, <laughs> and when I came back, mm-hmm. I had to go live with my dad because we didn't really have anything going at that point. Like you had your job, but I didn't have a job at the time. Because I had just quit my job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did quit it. <laughs> oh, you guys, I quit my... <laughs> and this is the worst part of it. I quit my job. <laughs> they threw this big party for me. No joke, because I was there for like two years. And then I came back to the same job. Three weeks later. <laughs> Three weeks later. <laughs> I could never do that today. I was like, you know, I was young. And in my mind, I wasn't thinking. I would never never go back to them. So they rehired you? They rehired That's me. That's really nice of them. That was extremely nice of them. Mm-hmm. But you know what it was? I tried to like make myself, I, I tried to believe in myself that they, they uh, oh thank you, I appreciate that. I told myself that they needed the help because uh-huh. they kind of did. It was like really busy and yeah. I, I left and they were like, well we You're need like, somebody they need else. Me. So I like told myself that they kind of needed me, which wasn't the case. <laughs> they would have been fine. So anyways, I go back there, and then that's when, <laughs> that was terrible, guys. They made a cake, they gave me all this money, they are like, good luck, yeah, you're, you're pursuing the dream, and all that stuff. And I came back three weeks later, that was horrible. I don't even want to think about it, that's it was so okay. embarrassing. Anyway, so, okay, long story short, um, so then Kristen and I, from there, mm-hmm. that's when you and I decided to move in. Uh, or no, 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 well, we were staying with our parents first. For we maybe we decided to save a little bit, and we waited maybe about two years. I don't think it was two years. I think it was. Really? Was it two years? Yeah. Yes. You guys, I know we were talking I don't know about what we were doing, and so that part was a little crazy. Yeah. Because at that time we're twenty two, we probably could have moved in together. That's crazy, uh, but, but we, we had a good reason. We must have had a good reason. I think it was saving. We didn't want to spend the money. I guess. Well, I think we were, you know, I don't think, I wasn't making anything. I wasn't making it much either. But, I mean, we still could have did it. Oh, well, well uh, we would have had to move. It's a long, yes. So, because we live in a super expensive area, we would have had, had to move. Yeah. But, well, anyways, we just didn't do it. We didn't do it for whatever reason. So, it was maybe about two years. And then, it was two years. <laughs> because I remember when we moved into the new place, because then we moved into... Our first place together when I was 24, that's right. Mm-hmm. We were 24, and maybe you were 25, or were we both 24? Well, we were around the 24. same age, 24. Um, anyways, I the job, the company went under. It went under because of the market when everything crashed. Mm-hmm. They hung on for maybe about six or seven months, but then they couldn't, you know, they couldn't keep up, so they actually ended up going under. Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking, like, whoa, I can't believe we lost this job right when we got to this, this place, mm-hmm. which was terrible. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it wasn't terrible. You know, it was what it was. But, no, it um, wasn't great. <laughs> it was hard. What are we talking about? Mm-hmm. But, anyways, there are benefits that happened because then I got my record contract. And that kind of propelled me forward in a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. But anyways... So, oh. um, yeah, so that was, that was we it. We moved in together. Yeah. I started grad school. Yeah. So, again, probably wasn't thinking about marriage at 24. Mm-hmm. I just started grad school. It's a two-year program. That's right. Yeah. Um, and I remember that I wanted to, you know, do that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you had the career thing, music, yeah. you know. We're uh-huh. just focused on, like, figuring things out, you know? That's right. And then... And we had talked about marriage during this time, too. We had talked about it at this point, like, you know... And I think the the kind of the idea was, because we weren't really talking about it beforehand, Mm -hmm. but I think towards 25, 26, we started talking about it. I think the idea was, we were like, we just don't need it right now. There's no point to get married. Mm -hmm. We were thinking, because we were living together, we were focusing on our careers. Mm -hmm. Um, For me, I had friends that were getting married, and they were paying like ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Yeah. And we were like, what? (laughs) And you don't have to do that. Yeah, Yeah, you don't have to do that at all. But we wanted to do something big if we were going to do something. At that time, we did. We wanted to do something, but we were so going to. So glad we didn't. Yeah. Um, do it like that. Yeah, yes. but it's true. We did want to spend, and like, the cheapest you could go 
Yeah. Is well, anyways, okay, whatever. We were gonna spend like twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. And I remember you were sweet. You were like, "Hey, if you really want it, like, yeah, let's save twenty, thirty thousand dollars and do it." We could do it. And I remember it just wasn't a priority. We were going on vacations. We were right. living life in this in this amazing apartment that was beautiful that we yeah. loved. Mm-hmm. It was our first time together. That's right. Um, I remember we were just like really having Loving a good time. It. Yeah. So fast forward to two years. In this apartment, I finished grad school, just graduate, and we knew that we needed a change. Mm-hmm. And it was time that Jamil really wanted to dive into his career, you know, full time and mm-hmm. really see if he could make, make something, something yeah, make something happen um, mm-hmm. in LA. So, literally LA. less than a month after I graduate um, <laughs> yeah. grad school, yeah. we go down to LA. That's right. Again, Amazing. when you're grad school coming out, you think you're gonna get like a really great job. No, not what I was doing. No. I had a complete three thousand mm-hmm. hours of of <laughs> client contact. You know, so you're still I was still an intern, I guess is yeah. what I'm trying to say. When it, you're an intern, they're paying you nothing. Yeah, pretty much just to sum it up just in case. Uh, people didn't catch it. So literally after Kristen graduated from mm-hmm. grad school, mm-hmm. in order for her to get a job paying well uh-huh. for her, you know, for her field and stuff, she had to complete 3,000 hours of internship work, free work, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> 3,000 hours. Of, yeah. Yeah, which is crazy. L- luckily, I found a job that I was able to get hours and pay. get pay, mm-hmm. but that's that's hard to do, but yeah. I did. Yeah, but, but it, it still wasn't paying where it could have been at the level where it no. could have been. You were still, yeah. 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 You know. And in LA, it would just wasn't paying a lot, you know? Yeah. But uh-huh. I had a job and that was cool. So anyways, yep. I was focusing on the hours then mm-hmm. because I was getting a lot of uh, money. You were a struggling musician, you know? Yeah. Struggling. <laughs> okay. Guys, we moved to LA with no job. <laughs> Nothing. We and we had like three months money worth saved up. <laughs> and, we, and Jamil and I were both yeah. like, oh. We are totally going to find a job hella right away. (laughs) Like, literally, we were like, it's not going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. I have a graduate master's degree. Exactly. Jamil has hella work. I've been signed by this label. I had all this TV work that I got, you know, all this, like, amazing stuff. I was like, I have a great resume. I should be able to get on some writing teams and stuff like that. And we knew that as a side hustle, oh, you can totally work in retail. Jamil's worked Mm -hmm. in retail. Mm -hmm. He can, and there's hella retail jobs in LA. Yeah. We were set. Mm -hmm. Didn't worry about that. (laughs) You guys, it took us July, August, September, October, four and a half months to find a job. To find a job. <laughs> we ran crazy. out of money. <coughs> Zero. Meanwhile, in four in, in some of those months, maybe like two months, <laughs> we thought that we could win sweepstakes by filling out all these online sweepstakes to get paid. <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't we work just at got all. spam. But we talked about that in another video. Yeah. Go check that that's out. That's another, yeah. <laughs> extreme uh, sweep skate. Sweep S- sweepstakes. Sweepstakes, yeah. We were doing. And it was all bad. <laughs> we're spending like eight hours a day just no, filling out info. <laughs> we're getting parking tickets right and left in LA because yeah. you can't freaking park anywhere. Yeah, it's all bad. And like, anyways, it was just like all bad. We were broke as a joke. I had to ask my mom uh-huh. for money. Thank you, mom. Yes. For bailing us out because we saved us. would have got kicked out saved of our us. lease. Uh-huh. So she not have um, given yes. us money. So thank you so much because she saved us. She we did. would have been... We don't, I don't know what we would have done. And to be honest, the fact that we got an apartment without job... Oh, we lied to the lady. Oh, we basically... Right. I said, oh, yeah, my job transfers and I can work from home. And I basically showed her a pay stub. Yeah. Right, my last pay stub. Yeah, Because yeah. it was just... It was a short transition. That's right. So she thought it was still working. Mm-hmm. You showed some type of a... I showed my royalty payment. Your royalty payment stuff, through the record know? label that was just a one-time payment. Yeah, which... But it looked like hella. I made it seem like it was constant. <laughs> so we lied. And we got the apartment approval. And then we almost... Uh, to uh, get kicked out because we had no money. Exactly. But anyway, so just to jump forward a little bit. So during this time, we were not thinking about marriage at all. You know, it kind of formed our, I think by this time too, we're kind of thinking like, well, we just don't need to get married. Like, there's no point. Well, it's just, we're happy. We're doing exactly the same stuff that, I mean, you know, other than of course, we're happy in a sense with each other, unhappy with that situation at the time, which Mm -hmm. sucked. So, and we were, um, and we felt like adults at this time, you yeah. know, we were 25, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, we felt like we were adults. We just felt like, you know, yeah. we were adulting together, trying to make things work, grinding it out. Mm-hmm. And we just didn't need to get married. We felt very committed. Mm-hmm. 
I'm very much in love. That's right. I'm very happy. A vision of the future mm -hmm. that was on par with each other. So we're just like, we don't have to get married, you know? Ex exactly. So that was at that time. So then after LA, um, well, was? pretty much, yeah, long story short, after a year or so, Kristen got a job. I got a job. Like, things were okay. But we were just like, you know what? With the, We came out there for the music, from uh, for what I was trying to do. And I, I kind of got the idea and realization that, you know, with the music industry, it's just not what it's not what it used to be essentially in a lot of ways you don't necessarily need to be there and it just wasn't worth it for me to stay out there mm -hmm. so we decided to come back here um back home essentially but we didn't go back home we actually ended up staying with some friends mm -hmm. uh for a little bit Cruise. and oh go ahead we spent exactly a year in LA, a year in LA. and yep. came back and rented a room in our friend's house that's right at 26 years old and that's i think this was the first time where with the marriage thing where we were literally like okay if we're gonna do this we should mm -hmm. start to talk about it mm -hmm. so then we started to make plans mm -hmm. and that's when the idea to go get married in vegas mm -hmm. started coming out mm -hmm. if we're gonna do it at some point uh but even then we were talking about not even signing paperwork right we were just talking about doing they like just wanted a, a commitment ceremony a commitment yeah. ceremony mm -hmm. we were calling it which was just the ceremony but without filling out any paperwork because because of two very good reasons yes. number one as you know jamil has talked about this and other things oh, yeah. he had very bad credit terrible <laughs> the worst like the worst it was the worst <laughs> it was very bad oh yeah okay. no you couldn't get you can't get much worse <laughs> actually you can get worse which is crazy he had repos he didn't pay credit cards mm -hmm. he had awful credit i luckily had good oh. credit because i never had that so anyways Mm -hmm. I we were afraid that if we had gotten married, because yeah. by, by the way, the only reason we got our past apartments, past whatever, was because I had good credit. Exactly. Yeah. We were afraid that if we got married, that would join yeah. our situations together, and that would be really bad somehow. Mm -hmm. And and I don't know if that's true mm -hmm. or not. We heard rumors it was, or rumors yeah. it wasn't. We weren't trying to take that risk because we would not have got approved for anything. Mm -hmm. At least that's what we were worried about, you know? Mm -hmm. So that was half the reason. The second half was I had to pay back student loans by the age of 26, right? That's I'd right. taken out student loans. I had to pay them back. I was on this repayment plan mm -hmm. where if you work for um, a nonprofit or any type of like a public entity, right. you work there for 10 years and you get your loans forgiven after 10 mm -hmm. years. However, the caveat is <laughs> you have to pay... A good amount, but yeah. also if you're married, yeah, they go off of your spousal income. income. Yeah. So I did the math with my student loan people to see what it was because I was already paying three hundred yeah. and something dollars a month for student loans. Mm -hmm. We calculated it. I would have had to pay seven or eight hundred dollars. Yeah, extra as a no or, total. Oh, just oh total. Oh, that's right. As a spousal unit. That's right. Um, we could not afford that again. Mm -hmm. I we had come back from LA. I wasn't even making. I wasn't licensed yet. Yeah, yeah. So I was right. still making nothing, mm -hmm. and um, it you know, and so I could yeah. not. We could not have afforded seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a month. To be honest, right now, I would never <laughs> even want to pay seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a month. Exactly. It was yeah. crazy. So mm -hmm. that didn't work. So technically, I was like, well, we can't get married because. That's right. Student loan situation and on this like repayment plan. Thing. Exactly, exactly. So really, the or plan was, yeah. yeah, the plan was, you know, if we're gonna do it, you know, my credit has to be a lot better, mm -hmm. obviously. But my credit was so bad, you mm -hmm. guys. There was no need, <laughs> and it had been so long. Mm -hmm. I'd been in collection for so long with so many companies. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I was like, "There's no need to start paying this off, off, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just wait the ten years." He, well, we I thought about seven. Time, no, Around I don't think I never. I don't think I ever thought it was seven. Oh, I thought at first when you oh, were yeah. eighteen, you said seven, and I was Did like, seven? okay, yeah, so uh, seven. So when we hit twenty-five, we're like, oh, maybe it's gonna go off. We'll see. It was seven. Yeah, yeah it didn't go off at twenty-five, and then we mm -hmm. found out it was ten years. Yeah. We're like, okay, we can wait three more years. Anyways, exactly. So you yeah. were just holding out until twenty-eight. Yeah, that was a big part of to it to get it wiped off because we needed to wait until things settled down a lot with my credit mm -hmm. because then. If we are going to get married that way, mm -hmm. we didn't have to worry, like Kristen's saying, about mm -hmm. her, you know, both of us joining for some like really bad credit because mm -hmm. then there's no point of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but then, you know, at the same time though, once again, we did have this mindset though at the time though, mm -hmm. we were like, but we don't need to get married. Mm -hmm. You know, I think one of the things that's we've really been fortunate to, I feel it's fortunate. I mean, I, I guess either way, it depends, right? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say fortunate. I should say, we ha had the ability to, because we grew together from high school um, all the way into this point where we were like in our early, mid, to, late 20s, I mm -hmm. should say, 
we had the opportunity to kind of see what it's like to be with someone without marriage, be in a committed relationship mm-hmm. without marriage. And I think that kind of made us not worry or rush about getting married, mm-hmm. right? We were kind of like, ah, if it happens one day, great. But we moved in together. If not, it is what it is. Yeah, we'd lived together. We'd moved together. We, I mean, everything was yeah. together, you know? Mm-hmm. So we weren't super, super committed. But mm-hmm. turn of events, what made us really start realizing it is because, or, uh, thinking about getting married, mm-hmm. uh, was we realized certain things like, let's say, small things, right? I mean, kind of small things. If ever one of us had to go into the hospital, you can really only get visits from family members or spouses, mm-hmm. right? Um, so that was something we were like, wait, we need to actually think about that, if ever that's the or case. have your spouse sign off on something. Yeah, have your spouse sign off on things. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there was Health other insurance. things. Health insurance. That's what it was. Health insurance was a big one because he, that's again, right. is an independent contractor. I had yes. the jobs. He couldn't go on my health insurance um yeah. at the jobs i was having yeah um so <clears throat> and, that was kind of whatever you know mm-hmm. um so that so that was like oh maybe we should get married so you can be on right. health insurance you know mm-hmm. there's logistical things taxes oh, sorry. Yep. Oh, taxes sorry. like whatever yeah okay so this is around 28 right? yeah Ish. i think so right we're, we're really yeah. considering it uh-huh okay that but you know what but then we're like you know what we i think we wanted to you know eventually do it right yeah is that when i got we got a ring Oh. I feel like we got a ring around 28 or 29 because we knew oh. at some point we wanted to. We just yes. didn't know when. I did feel pressure. You mean, when you, yes. Oh, I okay. feel pressure because all my friends were getting married <laughs> oh. and I was like, F this. If they can get married, oh, I at least yeah. deserve a happened? ring. Like, this is yeah. how I was feeling. Yeah. So, is, is that what happened? Oh, yeah. I thought I, I didn't just do it on my own. I didn't just come up with that on my own. <laughs> I planted I I the seed. I thought I did. <clears throat> no, that wasn't the case because you came with me. And we, yeah, we right? did. Yeah, we found the ring too. Anyways, so got the ring. We were engaged, yeah. but again, we weren't planning the wedding. We yeah, didn't know when it was yeah. going to happen, but I was just really happy I had a ring. Exactly. And yeah, I was yeah. like, good, you know, because that's yeah. like showed more absolutely yeah Yeah. which makes sense at the time like you know i'm not thinking about it we were thinking about we kind of had talks about it but Mm -hmm. once again it wasn't like a a real like oh we should do this but then i guess yeah when you probably what probably happened is you mentioned it and i was like okay hey if you want that then let's do that you know what i mean and i think that's probably what what took us to that point so we're engaged still living life Mm -hmm. uh but we weren't married and you weren't on my insurance i was still not making any money i finally got this really really good job Mm -hmm. um around 30 to where um, I was making more money than I had ever. And the thing is, you guys, yeah. he was able to go on my health insurance as mm-hmm. a domestic partner. That's right. I, so we didn't need didn't to get, even get married. We didn't even need mm-hmm. to get married for him to be on my health insurance. Yeah. And I was like, hey. I was like, what's the point of being married? Like, yeah. you're on my health insurance. Mm-hmm. Uh, right? I do remember that. Yeah. You were a beneficiary. You know, things like that. That's right. So I there was just that. like all these things that happened that we were just like, like, do we really need it, you know? Yeah, and once again, I think a big part of it was because we, you know, had been together for so long. Mm-hmm. We've had, or not even just so long, but from like, you know, it's, it's when you're from like high school mm-hmm. up to where we are now, like your life changes drastically, mm-hmm. right? It's one thing if we were like from, you know, maybe, you know, 25 to 35, mm-hmm. your life might not change that much drastically. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. But from those ages, we were together the whole time. So we felt like we were married anyways. We did. You we know felt what like I mean? we were we growing like we were, up together. Yeah. We had went through so much. Yeah, yeah. So uh-huh. many life things, you know. So exactly. I felt, I did feel married. That's right. We felt like that anyway. So we were like, why, why do this? And there also know? was a piece of like, hey, like we're hella committed. We're hella mm-hmm. in love. Yeah. It felt good to be like, oh yeah, we're together 10 years, you know. Exactly. But of yeah. course you get the judgment from society. Why aren't you married? Yeah, that was da, 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 You yeah. know. Um, That's right. So that was, that was rough because I didn't feel mm-hmm. like society was validating our love, like our longevity. Yeah. I felt like society wasn't really validating us as a couple because we weren't married. So that was like kind of a negative. Mm-hmm. Kristen was feeling the pressure. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's yeah. all good. Because I felt it too. Like people, yeah. it was weird, right? I'm like <laughs> my girlfriend and people are like, well, haven't you guys been together for like how long? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you got like, calling your girlfriend. It's like, so, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. So this is around, yeah. So around 30, got the help of trip, da, da. a couple yeah. years later. Yeah. And this is what I felt. Okay. I was tired of calling you my boyfriend. I really was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. At I that point, that. everybody you know and their mom practically is married and with kids. Yeah, yeah all Around your like friends, 32. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I did feel 
I'm like well both of us felt like that we felt kind of I mean we felt pressure but more than just pressure I think we were also at a different place I think you know what we were striving for the whole time like mm-hmm. we were talking about stability mm-hmm. actually having financial stability like we were doing good uh, both of us financially oh, credit enough, got you know? wiped away my credit yeah was bad was good all of a sudden I think I remember just like getting an offer I was like what's this and I checked my credit and it was like zero <laughs> I was like what zero you know because before it was yeah. like well, it was like so they're gonna say zero. They're confused. So oh it, yeah, his credit got wiped clean to where mm-hmm. he had nothing no on it. Yes, but that's better than not ha- than having repos. Repos, yeah, or late payments. And negative credit, exactly. So because it's only zero for a little bit until you yeah. can start building it again. Literally, the first payments you get, the first credit card, then mm-hmm. it ju- jumps up to so I remember six hundred we or whatever it is. You so know? I remember we were like thirty one, thirty two, and I remember you had zero on your credit, and we were like, yes, <laughs> like it was you. Great. It was so great. It was nice. It was very nice. Oh, so nice. Anyway, so... So, yes. Yeah, so, anyway, yeah. so, yeah, keep going. Okay, yeah. No, you're still doing a good job. I don't remember okay. what I was, so, <laughs> where I left off. So, anyways, things had changed. His yeah. credit got better. Yeah. Um, I got a good job, and then yeah. he was already on my insurance. Yeah. I still had the student loan piece, and that was hanging me up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what I decided to do was say, F it. Yeah. And it basically, I changed my student loan plan to yeah. where I wasn't on that 10-year forgiveness anymore. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And I was on a longer forgi- a longer situation, but yeah. I was okay with that. Uh-huh. I, I just wasn't, you know, I just didn't think that reason alone, which seemed to be the only hiccup left, mm-hmm. was enough to not get married. And so I switched my student loan situation to actually where I was pay- I'm paying a little bit less than I was before. That's right. And I'm happy with it. And it's fine. It's manageable. You yeah, know? exactly. And that makes sense. I mean, it just made sense for us. You know, that that's mm-hmm. kind of just what worked for us. And then, uh, let's see. Then, yeah, like you were saying, you were feeling the pressure. I mean, I was feeling, like I said, a little bit of pressure myself, too. Um, you know, because people would ask me all the time, too. Like, uh, why are you not getting married? Yeah. You know, you had to ex- explain yeah. it and stuff like Put that. Put a ring on it. Yeah, well, it was, but... exactly. So then, uh, eventually... Um, you know, cause once again, we, our, our thought was once again to, mm. if we are going to do a marriage, we want to do it big, we want to do it in Vegas, mm. blah, 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 blah. But, uh, that was in the beginning. But then as we got older, really, we realized, well, I, I think it was one Vegas trip. Yeah. We decided we were just like, let's just get married. Let's, let's just do it. At a yeah, chapel. Exactly. We were, so we mm-hmm. had decided together that, you yeah. know what, our $20,000 wedding yeah. dream did yeah. not need to be a anything we didn't want that anymore because yeah, yeah. again we had struggled financially we got to this place that we were a little bit better we we're trust me we we're still yeah in yeah, debt yeah. and we still are now but, yeah. <laughs> but we were better but we were a lot you know? better a lot oh, better so much better yeah much better. Uh-huh. um and so you know you just get into this place and so we're like you know what let's not spend mm-hmm. that much on the wedding so we spent yeah a thousand bucks yeah we went every all in like yeah. everything <laughs> ceremony flowers great. pictures yeah yeah. So like a thousand bucks. Exactly. So we did um, that in Vegas, which great. was awesome because mm-hmm. they, they took care of everything. You just pay them and they schedule everything for you. Mm-hmm. They do it all for you. Which yeah, is you have a wedding awesome. coordinator. It's yeah. just more low key because it's yeah. just like this little chapel. Exactly. Um, That's right. By the way, shout out to Chapel of the Flowers in Vegas. Yes. The best place to get married. It was mm-hmm. elegant. It was beautiful. That's there was true. no Elvis. I know. It was actually yeah. like a crystal, uh, th- crystal theme. Oh. And it was very white and crystals, and it was very elegant. So it was gorgeous. Sorry about that. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I accidentally kicked Did the mic. Did you not kick me? And, Did I, I kick you? Oh, I was mm-hmm. going to say. Wow. <laughs> I was kidding. I was like, that's a good kick. No, I'm just joking. Um, so but anyways, yeah. it was very nice. I keep doing that. I keep kicking it. Sorry, guys. Can I'm kicking the mic. Your... I'm sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. And anyways, yeah, we decided just, you know what? It was time. Mm-hmm. How many years later? I was 30. What was um, I? 33? We did 15? 16 years. 16 years. Before we got married? Yeah, 16 yeah, years. Yeah, 33. 16 years, yeah. <laughs> How crazy is that? Yeah. I know. So that's, yeah, that's literally... We just said it was time. So yeah. we got married. I was 33. Yeah. You were 32. Yeah. But literally... It was wonderful. Yeah, when I'm looking back at it now, it seems as though we... It was like the plan to eventually get married down the road. Mm-hmm. But that wasn't the plan. Like, literally, I remember midway, like maybe 26, 27... Yeah. I remember we had a discussion. We were like, we're to just be, not going to be married. To be lifelong partners. We're just going to, yeah. We we're like, we don't do want to worry about, you know. Anything. Anything like that. We'll just be together and not have to worry about that. Yep. But, you know, I think, it, you know, ultimately as you get older, I think your mind starts to be like, no, let's let's do this. You know what I mean? Let's get married. Let's, mm-hmm. you know, let, let's put everything together as much as we can. 
um, you know, just, just yeah, let's just, just get married. And so getting married is it. such a personal choice. And yeah. I, I wish our society Absolutely. didn't have to push people to do yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I get that it's like a common question. Are you married? Like, I get it. Like, I don't yeah. think people mean any harm by it. Sure. But I do want to say for the couples that have had a long-term relationship and are not married, yeah. you know, kudos to you. And I think it's beautiful oh. and fabulous you know, and I think you're just as much dedicated being in a committed relationship than you are married per se. The thing that changed about the marriage for us was yeah. benefits and That's true. and title. And there is there is a little bit of like, you know, there's a there's a yeah. cool pride sure. behind calling you my husband. Absolutely. For me, though, Absolutely. I felt that pride because we were together so long. I almost felt like it was a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a promotion in our relationship, and that felt really cool. Exactly. But I think everybody has their own different reasons for getting married that's right and i do want to add this too on top of that <clears throat> like because i know some people out there probably watching it feel like you should 100 percent get married it's super important you got to do it um and it's true i mean at the same time like if you are if that's really your goal then you should 100 percent do it if you want it and yeah. it's your dream yeah and it would you make you happy 100 percent. you should go do for it. it absolutely 100%. but but i think what's most important out of anything regardless whether you get married or not mm-hmm. You got to be committed. You know what I mean? If you're in a relationship mm-hmm. and you're with the person, it, mm-hmm. it can't be Don't like, be dilly yeah, you can't be fickle with it. You can't kind of be one foot in, one foot out. Because marriage also be doesn't make in. you necessarily committed to. No, it I doesn't. do want to throw that in there. It doesn't. I think a lot of people feel like, oh, we get the marriage, we get the title, I lock it down. That's right. It doesn't lock it down. It doesn't. It makes things more complicated later down the road, actually. You, you know? have to be committed first yeah. before getting married. That's exactly That's all right. I want to say. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a really good point. Dave. That well, yeah, what you're saying is a good point too because mm-hmm. you know I think you know there's sometimes people do get into marriages, one person's maybe not fully committed into that mm-hmm. you know marriage, and then what happens down the road is you can't just leave. It mm-hmm. makes it harder to just do that, mm-hmm. um, which is which which really sucks. You know, it's mm-hmm. difficult, but but I think ultimately, yeah, it's it's uh, at least from our experience and stuff like that. I think it's a, it's a it, the most important thing is the commitment. Yeah. That's it. Whether you get married or not, you gotta be committed. Yeah. You gotta be. You know. You know, and I have to say, like yeah. looking back on being in a committed relationship yep. versus the marriage, mm-hmm. I'm both committed. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Life partners <laughs> versus a marriage. Yeah. I think there's pros and cons to both, and there yeah. was something that I felt really proud of being like I'm choosing to be in this relationship, not married, every mm-hmm. single day. There's nothing tying us with paper. There's no complicated things that are tying us together. That's it's right. Because we want to. So that felt good. That's right. You know? And then now that we're married, it feels really good to be married and yeah. feel like, oh, you know, we're, we're married and like the eyes of the law and That's right. society, mm-hmm. there's a validation there. It's cool. There's the promotion to husband. It's true. <laughs> promotion to wife. So that feels yeah. really good. But to be honest, like, I, although I'm yeah. happy we're married, yeah. I still don't think don't it changed our relationship to the point where if we hadn't have gotten married, yeah. I think we'd still be together and just as happy. That's right. Well, that's something we knew going into it that yeah. it's probably not going to, it's not going to change anything no. for better or worse. But it's I was just going to be. I was scared. I know you were. I was freaking out. Because you guys, uh, yeah, because 16 years together <laughs> and we were going to get married, I yeah. did say to myself, like, do I need to act different? Like, yeah. what does a wife do? Exactly. I, think so. I literally was having anxiety about it. I freaked out. I remember that, too. You're all like, you were, like, stressing off of that. I was. And I'm like, what do you mean? Nothing's going to, literally nothing's going to change. I just didn't. I wasn't doing... sure if you, you had different expectations of me. Yeah. I definitely was so scared. I mean, obviously, looking back yeah. on it, it was fine. <laughs> and nothing changed. But I was like, I'm a wife. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. and like I already am not good at cooking, cleaning, you know, was, I don't know. I just have this whole weird thing going on. Yeah. It was yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But well, yeah, I mean I think it's you know, it's normal to feel I basically like that, needed you know? him to tell me I'm gonna think of you not different at all. Yeah. Everything's gonna be the same and then I felt a lot better. Exactly. I was like, okay. For me, <laughs> you know, for me, I guess for me, I think the thing was I wasn't sure if I wanted to be in a marriage, you know? I mean seventeen years what was sixteen years at that point? Mm-hmm. I was I wasn't I wasn't 100 percent sure, you know. So I needed I, I was thinking about should I leave, should I not? And I think it was the last minute as we were walking down the aisle. I was like, you know what? You're I making a bad joke. <laughs> it's a really bad. It's joke. a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> that... But I like it anyway. It's a bad joke. I'm saying it anyway. So basically, you're okay? gonna you're gonna run away. I was gonna run away. <laughs> all right, at the altar, I was about to leave. And I was like, you know, because we were in Vegas, so I was like, man, there's so many places I can go. Uh, but I decided to stay. Yes. 
Anyways, that's and our story. And now we're eating Indian food, <laughs> mukbanging, and talking to you guys about this. <laughs> so that is a big piece of our story, of our yeah. marriage journey, and we just wanted to share that with you. Absolutely, yeah. So I would definitely say, for anyone out there, you know, who's, for whatever reason, you're wanting to get married, but you, you're not yet, uh, just be patient with it, mm-hmm. give it some time. The most important thing is to be committed to your partner, be there for them, mm-hmm. and be the best you can be, you know? Don't be running around, don't be doing anything messy. Exactly. Don't, you know, yeah. you have to put your partner first. Yeah, put you your know? partner first, And then yeah. the partner has to put you first. That's and, right. And when you have that equal, then That's you're right. good. Exactly. If you have one person putting your partner first and the other person's not putting you first, then it ain't gonna work. So, That's right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, put each other first, and exactly. then you're then you're good to go, and it'll last you know forever. That's exactly right. Yep. So cool, guys. I love you. Well, I love you that too. That's a good story. <laughs> I can't believe it's story. our story. <laughs> it is. I thought it was good. I made it good though. Let's be real. <laughs> If I wasn't involved in this story, it would have been okay. It would have been a decent story. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys. I hope you like the food. Yes. Uh, if you have any comments about what we talked about, write them below. Yep, let us know what you think. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. I mean, we would love to know just what you think about marriage and stuff like that, just in general. So feel free to write anything you like about it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share and is caring. Let your friends and family know what the K and J fam are doing. And until next time, guys, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there for you. And we will see you in our next video. Mm-hmm. Peace. Mwah! Peace out, child.